grade separation is basically separating by height the incoming services and the outgoing services. You will see that at Euston today with the so-called X line, which means trains can leave from the low number platforms and get onto the right side of the layout going north without conflicting with the trains coming in from the north heading into the other platforms. But yeah, if everything's at, at grade on the level, then incoming and outgoing trains conflict and you reduce the capacity. So if you don't have grade separation, you reduce the number of trains that can get in and out reliably, unless you're going to skew them at red signals for various, you know, some way north, particularly if you're not running to the second. And if anybody's um, still thinking, I still don't quite get grade separation. I mean, I think from a railway point of view, that that was a superb um, explanation. Just go down the M1. You know that junction, the M1 and the M6, where the A14 joins? And for there was a long period where they were building a, effectively a flyover, right? So it is now possible to go from the A14 onto the M1 or M6 north without going around that big roundabout now because the, the the road goes over the top and creates that grey separation. 